Dear students, it is the clip fifth. In this clip, we are going to talk about transition words and the verb moods. In the previous discussion, we covered that why passive voice is a good choice and in what, in what situations we can use passive voice. Well, coming to the point transition words. Transition words basically are called connectors, logical links between our concepts, between phrases, clauses and sentences. These logical phrases uh, correct our concepts linguistically and conceptually. Fine, let's read. The best stylists become masters at artfully placing transition words in pivotal positions where the sentences or paragraphs meaning shift slightly, mean where the meaning shift. That follows in a handy list of the common transition words and functions. If you open sentences appropriately with these words it will help your writing to flow clear always keep the literal meanings of transition words in mind as you use it these words like therefore for example unless we frequently use these words but remember that these words simply to be used where you are exemplifying something where you are referring something clear but not the same kind of transitions we used at all the time. Fine. Here is the list of some of the transitionary words. They express for casuality, emphasis, amplification, accordingly, above all, again, consequently, certainly, also, for in the seasons. Fine. So these words have been given to express our intentions for this purpose in order to do this to this end within this mind clear to express closure when you are going to sum up your discussion and your point in conclusion in sum on the whole to summarize to express details especially in particular in regard find in location beyond here nearby opposite likewise similarly fine so for they are called time transitions afterward at the same time clear for comparisons however in contrast concession at any date at least to exemplify for example for instance to demonstrate to illustrate interpretation numbering fortunately interestingly significantly surprisingly dear students these are a few very common transitory words that are used to manipulate the scientific concept properly well now we are going on verb mood verb mood actually as you know that verb expresses actions and the mood expresses the feelings or impact that one occupies definition and you learned earlier in the module that the tense of a verb indicates when an action occurred. But each verb also, also has a mood that tells us how the action is viewed or perceived by the speaker. It indicates whether something is fact, opinion, command, suggestion, request, wish, hypothetical, mean imaginary situation or certainty. Mean verbs express action 
plus verb also express that whether the statement is a factual statement its opinion is it a command suggestion a request a wish of something an imaginary situation or uncertainty moods are as important in writing as they are in our lives because they provide perspective in english three primary moods are indicative imperative and subjunctive indicative mood express of something happening it indicates of happening of something for example i speak loud clear it speak actually indicating of the action clear the cat attacked the mouse attacked is indicative mode it is the verb attacked express the indication information is being rendered let's read indicative mood is fact mood but it is the one we use most often it states asks or denies a fact however it can also express an opinion because opinions are also stated as facts when you have an opinion about something clear I mean they indicative mood tells us about some action of happening and they also mainly tell about facts and but may they cover the opinions facts rain falls clear rain falls quite heavily during the month of april this is fact lots of rain fell yesterday fact rain is falling rain is not falling is the rain falling in all three modes fine opinion lost of rain will fall maybe in the future clear these chocolate cookies taste delicious clear nora will win the competition would believe he should go alone opinion my sister likes that we visit florida every summer likes visit these are two opinions another is called imperative mood imperative mood is used when you are using directions for example your teacher when they are uh, guiding you in the labs they ask okay open the open your laptop click on this word look at here draw drop these all are the imperative moods all the instruction manuals mostly where the directions are written they are written in imperative mode when you are following a specific guideline while downloading a verb or work, working on an app they use the imperative mood fine and it includes open the door do not forget your homework I mean it is all order do not forget your homework subjunctive mood is used where you are using su suggestions recommendations advices devices wishes and doubts clear there we use the subjunct subjunctive mood for example i wish i should go there you should not make noise clear using verb wishes desire hypothetical and the non functional statements clear these are all used in the subjunctive mood and same is here that the conditional mood is also the subjunctive mood where we use conditions here it is the conditional mood conditional mood shows under what condition something could happen it uses modal verbs such as might could would clear i might be able to reach him i call his cell phone i could see a different fine these all are called uh conditional moods in the conditional mood we have studied that one something is dependent on the other thing when something is simply a imagination situation and its proposed consequences clear when something one one action is true or other is the condition there we use the imperative 
sorry subjunctive mood and it is the infinitive mood to eat to sleep to run to think fine so this is called infinitive mood uses infinitive to express action and infinitive is simply the word to plus base from the verb it means that verb moods play a very different things uh, concept we must learn about it in this discussion we covered that transitions are the logical connections they need to be put meticulously and carefully to give logic and reason unity and coherence whereas the verb moods are mandatory that decide we are catering information we are making up hypothetical statements we are uh, wishing something or want thank you very much